Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to tell you about the specifics of sensors calibration and tank calibration. Once the sensor is connected, you need to open it in the configurator. Change the settings as you need, but deactivate the filtration. You can switch it on once you are finished with the sensor and tank calibrations. Click on the sensor calibration button. Just recently we have added the possibility to calibrate the sensor without fuel. Simply leave the tumbler on and click on the calibrate button. We still recommend calibrating the sensor with fuel though because the calibration without fuel slightly increases the margin of error. You can do that by either putting the tubes of the sensor into a full tank or other recipient or by covering the drainage holes and putting it upside down to fill its tubes with fuel to the brim. Then you press the full button, return the sensor to the normal position and wait for 2-3 minutes to let the fuel escape from the tubes completely. Then you click the empty button. Attention! The level must be stable when you click the full and empty buttons. And also do not forget to clear the drainage holes after calibrating the sensor. After the sensor calibration is over, you can proceed with the tank calibration. Press the calibration button, select the method refueling or draining. We recommend refueling, select the liters or gallons and set the step or portion. Let's say we have a 400 liters tank. We need to refill it by pouring at least 20 portions of 20 liters because we strongly recommend calibrating the tank in at least 20 steps. The more portions you add, the more precise will be the conversion of the level readings into liters or gallons. We pour 20 liters and press the add portion button once the level is shown as stable. And then repeat that 19 times more. If you need to edit or delete one of the rows of the table, simply click on it and either introduce new numbers or click on the cross next to the row. If you are calibrating a tank with some uneven parts, once the level reaches the complicated part, decrease the volume of the portions but increase their number. This will allow you to achieve a higher precision level. Once past that part, continue as before. If the tank cannot be filled completely because the fuel starts pouring out through its slow filler neck, you still need to calibrate the sensor for its full length. Simply remember that the fuel level in this tank will be, for example, 3900 instead of 4095. Once the calibration table is complete, you need to click the finish button and save the table as a CSV file on your computer to later on upload it into your monitoring platform. And after all that, you need to go back to the main screen of the configurator and switch on the filtration and we recommend the median type. As to the level of filtration, you can select it in accordance with the tips that are given in our configurator. 